Hello, everyone. Welcome to another live feed stream thingo dearly. Right, I think I've got everything sorted out here. Uh, I think I'm learning. So try not to hate on me too much. What I will do is via my phone, I'll share the, the stream to the Facebook group. I believe that's a thing I can do. Uh, I'll see. I'll see. Cooperate. Ooh. Bear with me a moment. And then we're going to get stuck into what we're doing. Is the plan? Can't do it from there. Not having much luck here. YouTube's my channel. We have four viewers. Neil's joined us. I uh, see Vase has joined us. How are we going, fellas? Let me just quick refresh chat there. David's joined us. Hello, David. All right, hopefully that refresh doesn't kill anything. If it does, sorry. Right, I've got that organised there. I've got my laptop in front of me now, so hopefully it'll be a bit easier for me to um, read the comments. I'm trying to make these things easier. Here we are. Let's share this to copy link or share it to Facebooks. Uh, yep. So bear with me one second. If you guys want to give this a share anywhere, that'd be awesome. If you want to give it a like, that'd be awesome too. Uh, come join in the fun exclamation mark, paste the link, post, cooperating, yes, loading, thinking, share that now, we'll give it a couple other shares too, just because, uh, Chris has joined us, hello Chris, uh, Vmart, uh, how do you like the new Cross RC comparing to other Cross or Demon? Well, the Demon technically is the new the new Cross because the Demons run a lot of different models now, um, which is good, gives us options and such. Let me just wipe that out of the way. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, the Demon, while I'm speaking to you about that, I'm going to put the wheel back on this one. Play with ideas for different wheels, change your mind, went back to the original ones. So... Um, the Demon comes in lots of different models, and the latest one is the SU4C. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm honestly preferring the cross trucks over others. I mean, I'm open-minded. I've got TRX4, MST, Tamiya, um, Actual XX10. I've got the lot. But the one I prefer to drive out of all of them are the cross trucks, and I, I find that I keep going back to the cross trucks. Um, they're... The more fun to drive, the more scale to drive, they're smoother. I've lost my wheel nut. It's in here somewhere, I believe. This one will do. No, it's this one. It is, it is. So, yeah, cross trucks are awesome. Bob's joined us. Hello, Bob. G'day, you know. So, yes, definitely recommend. I mean, even this, this little truck here, this wasn't planned. Um... It come up cheap in the marketplace, and I had to buy it. It was too cheap not to. This is a base model SR4A, which I've slightly upgraded. I've put the I've put some metal bead locks on it. Um, it's got the, the cross SG4C tyres and foams on it. The C version foams are a bit stiffer than the base version, um, which handles the weight better, obviously. I put a metal um, metal dealy gearbox case, metal transfer case. I think I changed the motor in this one too. No, not yet, but that's on my list. Neil says Australia. Neil always says Australia. Um, can you guys do me a favour? Let me know how it sounds and how well we're synced. I'm trying. I'm trying everything. Um, you might notice. We have a 
Now, let me refresh that because it shouldn't show like it is. There's a donation goal there from Mike and I. Um, get rid of that. Pop that back up. It should zero. I don't know why it's not. Anyway. Um, donation goal there for a Mike and a webcam. So that's that's a, that's what I'm working towards. So obviously buying all this RC stuff makes it hard to buy fancy, look good and sound good stuff. I mean, there's only so good I can look, but we can try and make trucks look good anyway. So yes, that's cross trucks are awesome. That that's simple. I've got eight cross trucks and I want more. So. In my opinion, you can't go wrong. If you build it properly, you look after it, you drive it properly, that's a pretty big part. If you do those things, you're all set. They're awesome. Uh, cool and reasonably spot on. Well, that's good. I've messed with settings on on this. I've even I've moved the laptop. I've run a shorter USB cable to the, to the mobile that I'm using for a webcam. All these sorts of things to try and speed everything up and make it better. Your PC8 is simply amazing. After you're seeing your videos, I got one myself. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad I could help you spend your money. <laughs> Look, the, the BC8, let me move this little smidge so I can see what I'm showing you. Let me, there's a better, here we go, that's a better view. Uh, if I shrink this, then I can sort of see what I'm looking at and you guys talking too. Okay. Um, while we're here, oh, Jesus, speaking of mammoths, there she is, um, Daniel on Facebook, Daniel, I forget how to pronounce it, Gentry, I want to say it is, possibly wrong, said to me on Facebook, how big's that truck? It's pretty big, it is pretty big, weighs about 40 pounds. Um, I haven't got my tape measure handy, I don't believe, or do I? Do I? Don't I? I probably don't. I misplace stuff all the time. I don't, it's long, okay? It's long. It's, it's an absolute beast of a truck. If you build this properly, and like I say, you drive it properly, it's crazy where this will go. It is absolutely crazy. It goes places where a truck like this shouldn't go. Um, it is extremely heavy. When you build it, put at least 30 kilo servos in it. Uh, RC Racer just ordered the cross trailer for the dually. Awesome. Awesome. That's a wicked truck. I love that truck. I love all the cross trucks. I mean, I, the, the farm truck you can see in the background, a lot of you guys already know this, but... The farm truck in the background there was the first cross truck I got. Fell in love with them. Absolutely fell in love with them. That cross truck will go more places than my brand new Gen 8, which is a little concerning. But, I mean, apples and oranges, that's a full full hard body truck. It is so scale to drive. It's so smooth. The two-speed trans is awesome. It's just it's just. Uh, if you go by the square pattern of the table there, uh, 12 inch, so three foot, I think it's 700 and something millimetres long. I think. It's my my old 8x8, which I'm not going down there. There's too much stuff near it. I've got an SCX 10 8x8 up there that I've built. Roro's joined us. Hello, Roro. Thanks for coming, mate. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah, stuff. That, that truck up there is 800 and something millimetres long. That's a big truck. And this was just shy of it. So, I mean, it's, it's still a huge truck. It looks epic. It looks epic everywhere. It looks epic on the shelf. It looks epic on the trails, just sitting here on the table. It's just, if if you're in a position where you can get yourself one of these trucks, do it. Because there is nothing else on the market like this thing. Nothing. It's just crazy. The only thing I don't like about it is how heavy it is. And that's only because my back's wrecked. So, if Daniel, you watch this, this is this is how big this truck is. It's bloody huge. <clears throat> right, let me slip this back up on the table, and then I'm going to put my TRX4 on the bench. Um, and then I'm going to install some more goodies from Trill Hobby. 
the last stream we did was a feature on Trill. Um, installed the Gen 8 upgrades they do. And installed the wheels that they make. Beautiful wheels. Absolutely stunning. In my Facebook group, Burden's Custom RC Builds, there's links to the stuff they make. Um, you can find them on eBay, Amazon. Really, really nice stuff. So, I mean, a lot of a lot of what you'll see on these streams and the live feeds I do on Facebook and such are I I spend day in day out looking for new brands, brands that are affordable, stuff that I think all of you guys out there will like, and I, I spend my money on it and then show you guys. So I found True a Hobby and it's like, well, these guys actually make some really nice looking stuff. So I ordered I ordered the brass weights, um, the brass diff cover. The TRX4 stuff, a set of wheels, and it's like, damn, this, this stuff's actually really nice. So if you want links, I can post them in the comments afterwards. But yeah, if you search for them on eBay and Amazon, you can find them there. Ugh. Right, up you go. God, that's heavy. Okay, so what we're going to do today is work on this. My TRX4. My bad TRX4. This thing's seen some seen some times already. Um, weight 32 pounds. It weighs more than 32 pounds, I'll give you the tip. By the time you add all your electrics and the battery and, and the paint, as silly as that sounds, there's a lot of paint on that truck, the paint and so forth, and grease and all that, it, it weighs more than 32 pounds. It is a heavy truck. Um, I assume, Bob, you're looking at the Cross RC US dimensions on the website. That would be the box size. Big box. The book is so thick. Anyway. Right, that's all unplugged. So, body off. Now, I'm going to pull my gearbox out today, which is something I've not played with on the TRX4. So, cross your fingers. I remember where stuff goes. Not even joking. Right, let me remove... Remove my external BC from there so that I can I can get that out of the way. Let me get my heat heat sink off the motor if it'll come off. I'll slide it out later. Unplug my motor because I'm going to take the whole transmission out of the truck because we're going to use a nice fancy nice fancy case. This is what we're going to install today. Check that bad boy out. Isn't that pretty? Polished aluminums. Uh, we're also going to install some, some nice metal side steps. I quite like those. And the aluminum motor mount. So, yes, <clears throat> that's what we're installing. Now, I'm essentially just going to start taking bolts out until this thing looks like it's ready to come out. I'm probably going to have to take the ESC out too. Anyway, I'll start taking bolts out, and I'll get to the point where I'm like, okay, this is all I've got left. I'm going to say, I've not pulled the motor with a transmission out of this yet, so it's going to be a good chance to give it a service, give it some grease, clean it up a bit. Neil says, ooh, pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yes, it's about time this truck had a bit of, a bit of love that wasn't just brass on it. I've got a lot of lot of Samix brass on this truck. I've got extra speed cantilever set on it. Um, Samix titanium links. It's just got stuff everywhere. The only thing I haven't really changed is the ESC, the motor, and the servos for the lockers and two speed. They're all factory, which surprises a lot of people. Okay, flip top there's going to come out. Do I need to take the battery tray out? I reckon I will. I hope I remember how this goes back together. I really do. Now, ignore. I don't know why that donation bar is showing however much it's showing. Can you guys tell me what it says? How much money it says is donated? I did a test donation. And it seems to have like gone quarter up the bar, which is weird. Because there's been no donations since I started the bar. Something I can do. 
awesome. Tell me if that makes the um, tell me if that makes the thing any better. The speed and such, and the sync of everything. I've disabled my preview, so I can't see what you guys are seeing. Uh, where's that next bolt? Okay, in the back here. So essentially, as I do what I'm doing, every now and then I'm going to look up and have a look at the chat to see if you guys have said anything. If I do miss something, I apologise. Just comment it again after so long. <clears throat> if you're new here, feel free to give the, give the feed a like, subscribe. There's big things coming to this channel. Big things. I'm forever working on trying to do giveaways, unboxings, reviews. I'd like to make this sort of a one-stop shop for everyone in RC to go, <coughs> excuse me, wonder what Jono's up to today, if he's got any reviews and such to look at or, you know, if there's any new trucks in the shop. <coughs> right, can I twist that and get that out or am I going to have to pop the chassis? Undo those bolts, I should be able to get it better. Picture just got better. Okay, cool. I turned off my preview of the stream. So that should free up a bit of a bit of juice. I think the next step after the webcam and mic is I might smash another eight gig RAM in the in the laptop. It's already got sixteen, but I mean can't hurt, can it really? Crack that one too. So what's everyone up to where you are? What time is it? Where are you from? Feel free to say hello to other people in the chat. We're a pretty friendly mob here. I'll right, take that out of there. Lovely, get that bolt out of there. Lovely. Now I should be able to. Ooh, that doesn't get stuck. My word, look at the crap down there. <laughs> And this, boys and girls, is why you need to do what I'm doing. I don't know how we will see it because I've turned my preview off, but if you look in this region, it looks very orange. That there is dirt, water, sand, mud, grease probably, everything you can think of all rolled into one. Now, Bob, 1pm, southwest Victoria. Thank you, Bob. God, there's some crap down in there. <laughs> Whoops. Right, now I need my favourite cleaning brush, which is here somewhere. There it is. Right, I'm going to brush some of this crap out of the way. My word. That's, um, that's disgusting. So we're two bolts down there. I'll tell you what, by the time I undo those two bolts, we're probably going to be pretty close to having this out. Doesn't look like there's that many more holding it. And I may be able to get away with not removing the air so, uh, It's 10.55 here in Ohio. All right. Crack that one. Also want to get some nice drive shafts for this truck too. Just for just an FYI, when building the cross trucks, be sure to remove the Lexan window cover. Been seeing a lot left on. Oh yeah, 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 and it looks all smoked. There's a protective sheet on the on the window. You see, some people tend to accidentally leave it on their truck. I didn't do it. I made sure I removed mine. I am going to. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll remove it. A day behind in Ohio. Yep. We're we're in the future. Us Australians. All right. So we're gonna crack this open. Well, undo the ESC so I can slide this out of the way so I can get to the bolt that's underneath it. Come out bolt. Uh, if you can, magnetic tray, pretty handy. All right, that's out of the way there. 
<clears throat> we're looking at this side. One bolt here. And I think we're pretty close to taking it out. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff down here. Right, what's left? Why would you put a bolt there? So we've got one bolt underneath. I've got to pop that little bugger there off. My gear changer. Right, that's off. Lovely. So I'll get that bolt out of there that I've undone. Lovely. What have we got left? It's not seriously a bolt there, is it? Or is that just hold no, but hold that to that. That's a part of that. Mm. It's like there's a bolt through the middle. I oh, know that's for there. Interesting. So we've got bolt up the front and the other side here. Uh, da, 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 BC Arts, uh, BC RC merch idea, a workshop mat. Not a bad idea. I'll have to, I'll do some searching around. Um, I'll do some searching around, see what I can come up with. Bob? There can't be many more bolts holding this thing in. Like I say, this is the first time I pulled the gearbox out of a TRX4, so if, it, if it's taken me a little while, sorry. Right. Still holding on. That's undone through there, which holds our top link as well. Okay. Which is just plopped out, which is good. That bolt there underneath must be a part of it too. Just going to try and remember where all these bolts go. It's all you got to do. Right, we have movement. We have movement. Okay. Feels like it's stuck on something. That's undone, that's undone. The bolt underneath is done. Bear with me, bear with me. Okay, there might be, do they, no, they're just for the, for those mounts. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna crack my drive shafts off. I can find my driver. This is what takes me so long to do anything. I always misplace my drivers. I'll get rid of the front one too, just in case that's part of the reason. So that's off. That. Feel free to come out of there. Right down under the front diff locker. I think I got that one. I think I got that one. Mate. Think and hope and such and so on. There we go. Right now. Now, 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 I have to ugh, unplug my motor. And then, undo my little gear changer servo. No, don't undo that piece. Leave that on there. 
undo this piece because I'm correct that bulk to the new trans. If I'm correct. Now while I'm at this, I may install one of my year racing motors because it just makes sense. They're so good. My God, there's some, there's some crap underneath this truck. I can't even get my driver in. Right. Look, they... That's good. That way, once I bolt that back on, I shouldn't have to adjust anything, hopefully. I do run this off my DX6, so adjusting stuff's pretty easy on this. Right. So how does all this go together? We've got one bolt on the top. I can move my truck to the side now. How do we donate? Oh, I've moved my mouse. There should be a button, I believe, there somewhere, Brandon. Um... Underneath chat, I think, possibly, or top left of the screen. Are you on your phone or on a laptop or something? If you're on your phone, let me know, and I'll fire up my phone and see how it works. I'm not that familiar with it. Right. Gearbox. Very... Very dirty gearbox, mobile phone. Let me, all right, let me open up this same as you guys would open it. Mm. Okay, so when you push on the stream from Facebook and it comes into this screen, right? Just underneath where it says Aussie RC live streaming, there's a little down arrow. If you click on the down arrow, it'll pop up a description. Um, and in the description, there's a, a link that says streamlabs.com forward slash burden 84. If you click on that, that'll take you to a link where you can donate should you want to. I don't expect anyone to. Of course, I appreciate anyone that does because um, you're essentially going to help me get the new webcam and mobile and then essentially another webcam at some stage so I can... I can have you guys zoomed in on all this stuff as I do it. So, I'm going to get rid of this. Ugh. There's the original motor. I've, I've stuck with the original as long as I can. It still works fine. It's just, if I can make it smoother while I've got everything apart, it makes sense. Let's have a look here. That just slides off. That's good. That goes into C. Lovely. So what I'll do, what I'll do... What motors have I got? 13 turn. 13 turn, yeah, racing, just climb motor. I've said it before and I'll say it a thousand times. These motors are epic. Do I want this or do I want? Because this is a two speed truck. You know what? I'm going to put a 16 in it. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put a 16 turn in it. And the reason is, when I knock this thing into low gear, I want to be able to just go stupid slow. So I'm going to put this in. I'm going to fire up my foldering iron. Move out of the way, truck. And yes, I do use an old winchy ditch soldering iron because it outlasts all my expensive ones. I've gone through a lot of soldering irons, and it's like ugh, the more money they cost, the quicker they just let go. So I run my old one. It, it does the trick, and it does it well. So what I'm going to do is solder on the motor wires to this, and then we'll attach the motor to the new um, motor mount, a fancy aluminum one. I do like that. That's quite pretty. So we're going to attach it to this. Um, then we'll change the gear over, and then I know that once I've changed the gearbox stuff, then I can just attach it, put it back in. Awesome. I quite like that, and I think that will, should look really nice with 
with this. However, this goes. Someone's donated. Someone's donated. I can't see. I've got to move. My, I've got to move the thing. Brandon donated twenty dollars, dude. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Love your work, bud. Keep it up. I, I don't know if that popped up on the screen. If you could let me know, that'd be epic. Dude, I really appreciate that. That's epic. Thank you very much. Can't thank you enough. Like I say, I don't expect anyone to donate. I just, I put the option there. Um, donations will go towards, obviously, stuff to make all this better, prizes, um, whether it's me spending money to get more merch, like the um, pit mats and such. I'm, I'm trying to make this the, the most fun hobby I possibly can. For an awesome community, and I'm glad to have you part of it, dude. Thank you. Right. I'm going to attach my motor wires. On the back of the motor, the back of the bell, you'll see there's a little plus. That's your plus. Right. Your plus, your positive. Good English. All right. Cool bananas. So, what did I use the other day? Hold that there. Hopefully my solder's got enough heat now. Well, I really appreciate that, dude. It's very kind. All right. Lovely. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tin my um, connections here. We can get enough heat into them. Soldering iron is probably not quite hot enough yet. It is an oldie. Right. Just not quite. Not quite. Uh, Brandon, not always. My mouse is way over here. I've got to move my screen a bit. There we go. Um, my home's hobby motor was in reverse polarity. I wasn't reverse polarity. I had to swap the motor wise. Yeah, and that's easy enough, which is good. And that's something I do like about brushed. It's it's something that you can easily change, you know, fix should you need to. I may have to swap this around too because I think you need to run these in reverse. I forget. But I mean, it's a two-second job. Right. I'll try again. It started to stick. There we go. Just not as much as I like. Blob on there, lovely. Blob on there. What motor combo? Um, I'm going to stick with this standard ESC for now because honestly, I've had no issues with it. Oh, Mr. Collins, join us. Hello, Robert. What are we doing today? I've pulled my tear to four to pieces. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm changing the um, gearbox housing. I'm I'm changing the motor mount. I'm putting a 16 turn year racing motor in it because you know me. Charles is with us. Hello, Charles. Hello, mate. Hello, Charles. Um, so that's what we're doing. Um, this this TRX4 seen a lot of action and not a whole lot of maintenance, if I'm honest. Okay? Because generally speaking, I'll go out and drive it, I'll film it, and then I'll sit in front of the laptop, you know, for hours at a time, editing. Well, I sit there for as long as I can, then I have to rest my back, and then I have to come back to it. It takes a long time for me to edit a video. Um, and I forget about looking after the truck as much as it needs to. So a whole part of sort of upgrading this stuff is it's a good chance for me to open up a gearbox, re-grease stuff, clean it, make sure everything's sweet. So that's what we're doing. I'm just currently tinning my wires for the motor. Tony Gutierrez has joined us. Hello, Tony. Lovely. <laughs> Next. So nice when this stuff just works. Lovely. <laughs> right. Thank you for joining, Tony. Charles, Robert, everyone, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Right. So we're going to put this on here. Multi, multi. Lovely. 
Lovely. Now we'll do the other one. Melty, melty. I'm sorry you can't see much. It's sort of a bit hard to, at the moment, it's a bit hard to try and show every little single thing I'm doing. In the future, it will be better. Right, motor wires are soldered on. Wicked. Now, the only thing I'm noticing here, which may be an issue, I really hope it's not. No, because I should be able to run it the other way around. I believe. I believe. Let me just double, triple check this. The view is mid. Good. I'm trying everything I can. I'm trying to do everything I can to make sure the streams are as pretty and as clear as possible. That goes that way. So I should, yes, I can. Okay, that's fine. Right, remove this old motor. It's done well. I'm not going to throw it out. She can just be a backup. You just have to swap polarity. Yep. Yep. Uh, view look good, no delay. Awesome. I've turned off my preview as well, which probably makes a massive difference. I've, um, for those of you that watched since the start, I mean, the first stream was a bit of a shambles, but I mean, I sort of expected it to be. Since the first stream, I've gotten rid of half the crap off the screen that you guys see. I've um, gone through all the menus and found something that was like setting an eight second delay on stuff. And it's like, why the hell is this an option? So I've got rid of that. Um, what else have I done? I've changed a couple other things that sort of take me now to explain. And I've also shortened the cord that's running through to the camera. I kind of like the Japanese inspired video. I would like that. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Video and sound in perfect sync. Music to my ears. Upstate crawlers. I forget what your actual name is. This is going to take me a little while, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. Right, now this goes into C. And can I... I like to try and plan my motor out so that I can see the label nicely. Some may call it wanky. I call it, I spent money on a motor, so. Uh, do you think the MC8 is worth buying? That tech guy, if I was going to buy one, I'd buy the MC8C. Um, the MC8C is an updated version of the M8, of the MC8. The M, yeah. Um, look, it's a cross truck. I mean, in all my experience with all my cross trucks, yes. Which I think it's worth buying. Um, like I say, the, the MC8C is an updated version which has the full interior. Shush, Tony. The full interior, all that nice sort of stuff. I wish this bolted start. Um, I mean, they went through and made a lot of revisions to the, the original one. So, you know, you, you're getting a better truck than if you just bought the MC8. It might cost you a little bit more. I understand that. But you get what you pay for across. It's just true, Tony. Don't like it, man. I'll play with your 2.2 wheels. <laughs> so, yes, it's on my list at some stage. It's one of the trucks I want to get. Right, you need this gear. I hope tractors didn't strip this out. No. Lovely. Pop this on here, and then we're damn near ready to pull the gearbox apart. Tony says, Cross is awesome, Marcy. It is. It's epic. I love it. Let's put that there. I'll line all this up and just sort of see how. So there's our there's our new motor with our new um, new motor mount attached. Pretty combo. Pretty. That's really pretty right there. Right, put that on there. I'm just going to sit the um, the trans how it goes. I can do that with my brains. It goes there. Oh, perfect. Nailed it. That's awesome. Awesome. I love setups like this. Tony, gear motor. Yes. That's the Just Climb. Uh, went with the 16 turn for this. I want it so that when I put it into um, low gear, it's like stupid smooth. 
that's the plan. Hope it works. Let me just make sure that grub screw is nipped up because I don't want to. I wouldn't normally put um, Loctite on a grub screw. This has already still got some on there and it's tight to do up, so it should be fine. With the TRX4, given how much work it is to get all this out, put put Loctite on your grub screw. Uh, do you own a 10 2 by any chance? No, I've had two 10 2s, but I don't have one at the moment. I've got a 10 1. So I may be able to help with your question. Feel free to shoot, mate. If I can't, I'm sure there's people here that can. I'm going to unplug my solder so I don't burn my face off. Sit that behind me to cool down. Watching your videos is why I bought my cross. Um, dude, if you've already got a TRX, if you've already got a 10 2, get a TRX 4. It's that simple. Watch a video of mine on my channel. I keep looking at the chat like I'm looking at you. Go through my channel. There's a video called First Run and Afterthoughts or something about the TRX-4. And I state about in the end of the video that the 10 2 is a good truck. I like it. I loved mine when I got it. The TRX-4 is a bloody good truck too. And the, I think the biggest point of it was if, if they're the only two trucks you're looking at buying, when I when I did my video, I said about if I went into a um, a hobby shop and had a thousand dollars in my pocket, and there was an SCX102, there was a TRX4, I'd buy the TRX4. Tony saying the TRX4 Sport, if it was me, buy the full blown TRX4. If you like scale driving, if you like if you like having options, the full blown TRX4 is more of a driver's vehicle than the Sport. The Sport is more of a, I just want to drive over rocks vehicle. Anyone's ready to tell me I'm wrong, but that's what I think. Tony's saying wait for the element. Let's not jump on hype trains just yet. I've noticed, I've noticed in the last year, and I'm not saying it's bad, so just bear with me. I've noticed in the last year, there's been a lot of RC products that are released, and before they're even released or anyone knows whether they're any good, there's that much hype built up behind the product. People assume it's just the best thing out before it comes out. I'm trying to get a hold of one. I'm trying to get a hold of one so I can unbox it, show you guys what it's like, give you my honest opinion. I'll compare it to the Traxxas, my old 10-2s, all the other trucks I've got here I'll compare it to. It's $350, US which is cheap. It is cheap. It's not a bad-looking truck. It's reasonably basic. But it's three hundred fifty dollars, so you sort of expect that. So whether you want to wait and see if I can unbox one before you drive, it's up to you. Tony, don't like the open closed diff or two. It's awesome. Those diffs, once you learn how to use them, will get you more places than not having them. Fact. It's just, I mean, especially too if you put a TRX four on a radio where you can. Switch and change the diffs as you like instead of just going through tracks as a three step program, all unlocked front and front and back. I can go either just the front or just the back or none of them. So, these the TRX4, if you just want to go and buy a truck over 10 2 TRX4, buy a TRX4. If it was me, I'd buy the Bronco because, ugh, and I'd buy it with all the options. I wouldn't buy the Sport. That's just me. Uh, I agree. It's like simplicity, trigger, and steer. I was like that too, Tony. Like, you don't need a big fancy radio. You can use one of these to run this and have all the options I'm talking about. It's just, I don't know. It's it's so much more fun to drive than just a normal four-wheel drive crawler because you've got the options of changing your... Um, Changing your lockers to whichever one you want, etc., and so on. You get a lot better steering when you unlock the front. If you've got, if you've got your front locked, it pushes the truck forward and outwards every time you turn a corner. If you unlock your front and just have your rear locked, if you're going up a certain hill that you don't need the the front to pull, you just unlock your front if you need to steer, and you can get around rocks and um, trees and such a lot better than with a standard locked full drive. So, 
Uh, I hate my One Piece axles. A lot of people don't like them. The SCX10 One Piece. I mean, I'm neither here or there when it comes down to it. It only matters if you break it. So, yeah, that's my that's my long-winded opinion. And now I am going to have a swig of coffee. For those that don't know, I like my iced coffee a lot. Ah. Right. Now, crack open the TRX4 gearbox for the first time. Probably with the right driver. CRC Jeep, or great Jeep, have three pieces, says Tony. Uh, I'll move all that to one end. <laughs> I had bought the 10 2 Honcho. A lot of people did. A lot of people got really excited when the 10 2 Honcho was announced. I saw it and went, it's just the SX 10 2 with the old Honcho body on. But it doesn't mean it's a bad truck or anything, so don't get me wrong there. Okay. Okay, this is going to be fun. Like I said, I've not pulled one of these apart before, so if you see me doing something wrong, <coughs> sadly, the lower end SCX-102 went really cheap. Happens, mate. When, when you release a lot of models based off the same thing, unless it's a Traxxas, because somehow they hold all of the value, um, that's just what's going to happen. Brain's working over time. Do I need to release that? I might not. Every time I go to buy an axial, something stops me. Don't buy one then. If something's stopping you from buying one, you don't want one. And that's that's nothing to do with what brand I like. That is, I've been in your position. What it is, is you want a new truck. There's probably plenty of axials around, so you're like, oh, screw it, I'll just buy this. If you stop yourself from buying something, you don't want it. The element body is average, but I like the fact the cab and tub are separate. My my old PG4 runs a separate cab. That's a hard body truck, though. That's, that's not going to perform as well as... Um, that's not going to perform as well as the, uh, the dealy because that's a technical term here. The 10 or whatever, but I love it. Love it anyway. It is quite surprising what it does do. Tony, I bought a honcho and sold it a day later. Why did you sell it, Tony? Do tell. I'll guess. You sold it because you got it home and you're like, oh, this is boring. I'm not taking the piss before anyone gets upset. Plastic, full of it. What happens sometimes? Right, stage one. Pull this cover off here. Yes, we have bearings in there, which we have to put in here. We have our gears in there. Not a whole lot of grease in there. <clears throat> What's your feeling on Vitera? <laughs> Tony. Oh, no, you don't. I personally wouldn't buy one. I bought a second-hand one cheap. I restored it and then sold it. I only drove it in the backyard to make sure it was good. I just... I, don't, I just don't see the value. For what you pay, nah. Wish we could show off pictures in the chat. Well, this is... All you boys laughing about the Viterra. <laughs> Look, in the, in the long run, I made that Viterra a nice truck. I say nice. It was like a brand new truck. It um, it come up well. Jeff loves the thing. So that's that's the most important thing. It's just, I don't know. Like, nah. Nah. Okay? Nah. I don't want those bearings in there, you doofus. I want them here. That's what they came out of. So, yeah. Well, it doesn't. I mean, the, the, the Blazer was more advanced to a degree than the original SCX-10 
in the sense that it had a pan heart. The, the first Blazers, I mean, it's not something I have to worry about now, the first Blazers had really shitty gears, but they did fix that. They put better gears in them. But looking at stuff like that Suburban, it's like, what even is this? Plastic links, shitty looking wheels. I mean, they're horrible. They're the original Viterra wheels that they haven't changed since the first Viterra. It's like, let's make them even cheaper. We won't even chrome coat them now. We'll just leave them white plastic. What the hell's that about? No. <laughs> Don't buy a Terra. That's my thoughts. I know there's people that think otherwise, and that's all well and good for them. I forget which way that went now. That goes that way. That goes this way. So this doesn't move. This does, I think. Yes. I need a bearing. Yeah, that's got to go there. That's got to go there. Yeah, learning. I hope I put this back together properly. For sale, Terra X4. Slight assembly required. <laughs> right, so we have to pull the rest of that apart to get that out. Are they? Yes, they are. Well noted. A couple of shims in there. So now you've got to pop those bearings out, put those in the, the new case. Then I'll start pulling the rest of this trans apart. Come on, pop. Oh, that one should be easy. No, it's just the gear. What's in my bearing? Pop out bearing. So yeah, I'm not huge on the 350. For 350, I personally would buy the, the Cross RTR, but that's just me. I mean, I've got Cross trucks here everywhere. I love how they drive. love how smooth they are. I'd buy the Cross. But I mean, that's up to you. I know that if you talk to Tony, um, Tony, if you talk to Robert Mazza, you do a pretty good deal on one. If you my censure, he'll look after you. Either that, he'll tell you to piss off. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Barry. Right, that one in there. That one in there. Lovely. Those two need these. And then that is ready to go in the next piece. <clears throat> right, so I've got to pull that pin out. So, yeah. I want HPRT. Right. They don't look a bad truck, but I'll, I'll never really hear anyone go, oh, I love these trucks. They're awesome. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Don't know on the HPI. Uh, not need, though. You need and want two completely different things. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I personally wouldn't buy the... I, would, I wouldn't buy the HPI just because it's not something I've looked at and gone, oh, awesome. I look at all the cross trucks and go, oh, I need that in my life. And then he goes, do you really need another one? Yeah. Watch a video of the TRX. Uh, perform all outcomers. If I put a TRX4 Sport body on my TRX4, Tony, it would have performed, would have performed just the same as a TRX4 Sport. I guarantee you. There's not that much difference in the weight between the Sport and um, the normal TRX4. Look at all those bolts. One there, one there. Oh, there's one there too. God, what an overcomplicated transmission. Wouldn't buy HPI since I went bankrupt again. Dang. Did they? Plastic FJ, I heard HPI has a few issues technically. I mean, look, it's a toy truck. You're going to have issues somewhere on the line with all of them. 
that's just a part of the hobby. It's just a matter of how much we want to complain about it or accept it. Thank you. Oh, there's another one. Right, now I have to pay attention to how that gear changer goes. This is going to be the scary bit because I've not I've not pulled one of these part before. Hope I don't wreck it. Right. That's sliding off. Yes, so I'll slide straight through. I want to try and pick up the whole gear set as one and move from this gearbox to the other one. But I may have to remove your wheel. I'll have to remove the spur gear. Right. Okay, so that comes with that, lovely. So if I remove my spur gear here, I should be able to pull this whole gear set straight out of here, plonk it in here, throw some grease in it, because there's like all in there. That's my bad though. I should have checked that. That's the plan anyway. Let's hope it works. G made. The G made looks good. Um, I'd buy G made. Um, Brian Potts, he's in BCRC. He bought one not long ago. He asked me, what would you buy? A 10 Tour or a G made? And I said, honestly, I'd buy the G made. I've had 10 Tours, not they like. Um, so he, he bought G Mate and he said, Look, it's actually a really good kit. He said there was a bit of an issue with how the transmission and such fit. He contacted G Mate and they sent him the part that they'd done to correct the issue. There's one. Come on, pop out. Love it. Pop these in here. So I'd buy one. Pop in there, bearing. Lovely. Lovely. Right, now I've got to put my slider back on here. I believe that went there. That goes there. That should go like that. It goes like that. Okay, slide in to there. Work smart, people. Right, so that's got that's got those back where they need to go. Lovely. So what I'm going to do now is crack open my grease and grease this bad boy because there's not near enough in there. Looks better already. Hopefully I can slide this gear. No, they're both going to come out. No, you're supposed to come with it. Oh, shite. Beep. That has to go there for the selector. Then that has to go there. No, it doesn't. That goes there. The bearing goes there. That grabs that. That grabs that. Different gear, different gear. Lovely. Uh, Dennis from Group. Thank you. Thank you. It's hard to remember. So I'm going to put a bit of grease on the inside of the case itself. Eee! There's more, more, more of those. That's got one. That's going to go. Shit, I believe it was that one. Stay. Bear with me. Obviously, when you pull this sort of stuff apart, you've got to pay attention. <laughs> and I can see how that. Yeah, that goes like that. Lovely. And then I just need to put my selector back in. Brandon's laughing at me. Which is fine. I deserve it. Because I keep dropping pieces. 
remind the new followers what you're doing. I'm making a mess and I'm dropping stuff all over my bench. Hang on, Tony. Bear with me, Tony. Bear with me, mate. Let me just, let me just, there we go. There's every shoe. I am changing over my factory gearbox case to a true hobby uh, polished aluminum case. If that'll sit where it needs to. That going? Lovely. Um, so I'm changing over the case. Lovely. <clears throat> I've changed over the motor. I've gotten rid of the factory motor, which was fine, but the yeah, racing motor I'm using is so much smoother than um, so much smoother than the factory motor. Then I mean, it just makes sense. Well, I've got it all out. Change it. I'm also installing the uh, the True Hobby aluminum motor mount. It should help reduce in which should help with heat disbursement. Buy some greases here. And hopefully when I put, hopefully when I put this cover on here, uh, that way, that way, which way does it go? I think it's that way. Yes. Correct. Let me just see if it'll change gears. In fact, the slider will move. Yes. Lovely. Might actually put a little bit of grease on that gear change slider so it's not so hard to move. Don't come out. <laughs> Please. Stay. Stay there. Right, big grease down there. Obviously, the better this is greased, the better it is for us. So, a little bit of grease down that bottom here there. Lovely. And this is one of those fun jobs that until you, until you irritate the crap out of yourself and do it the first time, you're not going to know what it's like or how stuff goes unless you've got a manual, which I don't. So just have to figure it out. Is Cross making an aluminum motor mount for the SP4 line of trucks? <clears throat> yes. Um, do you mean... Do you mean this piece? If so, yes. Or do you mean the actual mount that holds the motor to the truck? Like it's like there's a bearing that goes on this side. This thing, I forget. So those are in there. Those. I need those bearings, mate. That's my problem. And I need that go that side. <clears throat> uh, how long does it take you to get comfortable talking to us without a response verbally? A couple of minutes, honestly. When I did the first live feed, it was just, I mean, I can't sit there going, oh, this is weird. <laughs> you know, it's, you just got to do it. My, my main concern is trying to make sure that any stream feed, whatever I do, isn't boring. You know what I mean? That's what, that's, is that what you meant? Right, I think I've now got that correct. That looks better. Lovely. Awesome. Doesn't even sound like it's grinding much. I'll do these bolts up, I should be right. So now I'll move back on to putting the top part on. 
hopefully. Do, 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 do. The boys are all cheesing each other. Yes, to the truck. What was that to, mate? Did I answer that? That's one of my biggest concerns. If someone asks me something, I'm going to answer it. Because I like to try and answer everything I possibly can. On this side. You're almost done. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Right, on the bottom there. God. 15 bolts later, you're almost done. Uh, next, I've got to put this piece on. And then I've got to attach the motor mount to the, the, the cover to this. I've got to put my, my spur gear back on, which I can do, yes, any stage. Right, that's the official technique to count, make sure you've got all the bolts where you need them. Official. Right. So now that should slide through there. That goes into there. We've got bearings on the side. Double, triple, ultra, and check everything, people. It's a good way of cutting back on the bomb dropping, swear words. Let's get a grease in there, lovely. Lovely, oh, perfect fit, straight on, bang, done, wicked. Right, these three bolts I'll this on. Now, I did get bolts to, put, to use with this, but I'm just putting the factory ones back in it. So I'll have, I have spare bolts. Woo! I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I've got a gear sitting right here. Jesus. That goes in this piece, I think. This is the problem when you do stuff live. Things go wrong. Yeah, because I turn that and nothing happens. Got to be an idiot. That one. Easy enough done. This is the problem when you concentrate on answering people's questions and try to bolt bolts up and do cogs and bits and bobs and all these things at the same time. Okay. Right, now I'll just put this back how it goes. There. Why's that got? Yeah, that way. Right. Lost him now. Yeah, don't, don't joke. So it makes you feel any better. I didn't get much sleep last night, so these these things can happen. Bob says, Adios, amigos. Thanks for stopping by, Bob. Very much appreciated. Remember, if you if you haven't already, feel free to give the feel free to give the uh, feed a like. And a share. It's very much appreciated. The more likes and the more likes and shares we get, the more people that see it. Uh, you're only human, yep. I know. I'm doing everything I can. Hey, we've come this far. That's so shiny. And at the moment it's not shiny because it's covered in grease. So I'm gonna have to clean before I put it in. That'll spinge nicely. Right. If I remember correctly, that goes on. You gotta remember too, this is the first time I've pulled this apart. So the fact that I've got it this far back together already and only dropped one bomb, I think is pretty good. Isn't it? Oh, I need a stack of washers. Crazy how many washers they put in. Two, three, four. Right, put this on. Tighten this up. Have to go, mate. 
Like a hobby shop tool, I bet it does. I don't think Crosshairs and Lemon Motor Mat yet. Not, not as far as the bolts to... Ugh. Butter. Oh, it's not butter, butter, because those gears are pretty chunky. There's, I mean, there's this part that bolts to your motor. There's not... Excuse me. There's not an aluminum part that bolts to this and then bolts to your uprights in the chassis. But, I mean, honestly... You really don't need one. So when I first seen the plastic mount, I was like, oh, plastic mount. Mm. But I've put my trucks under some pretty pretty heavy torque loads and I've never had an issue. Right. Wicked. So let me see if I can clean this off with my fancy cleany rag. Get that shine back to it. Ooh, pretty. This is going to look pretty awesome once it's in there. It is a lot of stuff in around. And I've still got to clean out about half a ton of sand out of the, of the uh, bloody skid plate, but it's worth it. And now I know that my truck's greased and it should be fine for another however long I've had it. How long have I had this truck, anyone? Do you remember? That's good. You, can't, you barely even hear it. I mean, you can hear the gears touching. But there's no horrible noises. There's no grinding sounds. And yes, it is worth putting the effort into cleaning these things up after you've installed everything, making it as shiny as you possibly can, because you've gone to the effort of putting it in. And the fact that it's shiny is pretty much half the reason you bought it in the first place. So there you go. We're all... Now, I'm going to have to clean up this case as much as I can because I can't have this being dusty and horrible with my fancy new shiny case. <clears throat> that answers my question. Awesome. Awesome. Look, look, check here. Eight viewers. What was our highest? Does anyone know? Right. Can someone tell me, because I've turned my preview off, that donation bar that's across the top of your screen, can you tell me what the amount is on that? If you could, that'd be awesome. I just want to see if it reset and worked properly. Because when I first started the stream, it was showing an amount where it shouldn't have because there was no donation when I started the stream. Clean out the inside. Clean all the dirt and dust out. Just this way, when I put this back together, it goes back in the truck. It's going to look a bit nicer. Now, I will be doing a YouTube video on these motors. Um, I'll do an install. I'll show you how to solder the leads on, all that sort of thing. Right. So, if I'm correct, though, I buy them. $32. Twenty. No, I think it's a bit, it's a bit wrong. And I'm still here. We've got you in the background while I'm working on some prop guns. Do feel free to upload some pictures to you to YouTube, to bloody Facebook, Robert. To bloody Facebook. Okay, so that bolts back on there. Was it only the one bolt that held that? It doesn't seem like enough. It was. Right. Nothing in there we need. Nothing in there we need. No. Sixteen percent, thirty-two dollars. Um, we had twenty dollars. Oh, uh, I'll check. I'll double check. I'll check it later. Right. Twenty percent, thirty-two dollars. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move that back in just a smidge. Just in case when everything settles in, that moves. It moves a different direction slightly. Because this is only, this seems to only be held on by one bolt to here, and then the rest bolts onto there, which is a bit of a math setup, but obviously it works. I will put a smidge of grease on there, so. 
not like that. That should be Mickey Mouse. That should be good, I think. So I assume this is obviously done so you can just pop this straight out like that, but I did it the hard way. So yeah, if there's that. Right. <laughs> there's a lot of shite down there. I'm going to get as much of that out as I can. I want this all to look really pretty. As much as the battery the battery cover, the battery um, tray covers half of it. Wah. Stupid battery tray. Right. But it's cool. We're winning. While I'm here, I'm going to clean up as much as I can. Make the most of having the motor out. I want to make my chassis rails look as clean as possible. I want to make um, my bloody skid look as clean as possible. The rod ends that are in here, the back of the little servos, everything. Whatever I can reach, give it a good clean out while I'm at it. Because obviously it's not very often you get the chance to get in here and give this stuff a clean. So make it a must of your time, all right? The bumper, the bumper. It's just there. Can you not see the bumper? Right. So, we don't need any of that now. That's spare parts. I have a lot of spare parts for this truck. If I'm correct, though, this should be able to be installed, and then you can install the motor separately. So that goes in there like that. God oh, damn! Looks shiny now. Get a load of that bad boy. Uh, I will include photos and such. Use your brains. Take a photo now before I put everything back together. Right. Uh, yoink. Yoink. Uh, yoink. Yoink. Right. Oh. Oh, that looks so dirty there. It's worth doing, people. It's worth doing properly. Sorry. This is what I do when I take photos. If, if you're going to take a picture of something and you got, like this side runner here, has got dirt and shit all over it, that won't do. I have to do one last quick wipe of that transmission. It's looking all schmicky mouse there. Right, so now just a quick tester. So that should just be able to drop in there like that. So that sits in its little groove, I believe. I believe that sits in there. That holds that in there. Okay. Awesome. Now I've got a much better understanding of how all this works, which is good. So I can bolt that back in. Now I need to remember, as best I can, what goes where. I remember where this one goes. They're pretty much all the same size. Oh, nice. Uh, two with caps. I need to bolt on. I need to bolt on this, which I got clean. Sorry. This is half the fun. Cleaning all the shite off your truck. Some background music may be nice. Like men at work. My God, Tony. Tony Gutierrez. Right, so that goes like that, and that's where two of our little, and that's where that goes. Yes. Stay. Awesome, you get that started, and I'll start the next one. And just that. Awesome. I mean, I could work on some background music if that's something you really want, but I. I would have assumed that that'd be more annoying than anything else. So let me know. Right, that bolt's on there, that bolt's on there. Now I should be able to, I should be able to just hook up my gear changer. I should. I hope. Please. Uh, right, that 
Joe's like, what? Need to pull that out. No music, your banter is good. Awesome. All right, make sure that slides nicely, which it does. Pop that through there. Let's pop this onto my servo. Lovely. So now we've got our gear change servo back on, hooked onto a linkage. That's all set. That can be dropped back in a the truck. Wicked. So now, now it's just a series of remembering where all the bolts go. I know there's one underneath. I don't think it was a long one. No, uh, you won't. That's too big. That's what I'm after. Right. Hopefully. Oh, lucky glove. Awesome. Uh, I like all aftermarket tyres. Only RTR tyres are any good with Gen 8 and Vanquish. Okay. The Gen 8 tyres are what I would call average. The foams are too hard for the tyres. The truck doesn't weigh enough to get the most out of the foams and the tyres. The cross tyres, the, the Black Rocks, they are actually really good. You just make sure your... Um, I mean, the tyres on the, the PG trucks are effing brilliant. They're quite surprising. Um, the foams are the, the right sort of weight for the truck. It's all thought out really well. The foams that come with the A-series trucks are really light. I see that you said cross-training. Um, the, the ones that come with the A-series are really light, but the truck's really light, so it sort of works. They're sort of borderline close, though, to being too soft. Um, there's a lot of a lot of tyres you'll buy where you know, the foams are too soft. I made foams for this truck, and honestly, they're, they're still probably a touch soft. So... Do your research when you buy. Um, when you buy yourself, uh, not that, not that, this one. When you buy yourself tires, just check anywhere to see if on the page it says select the um, the type of foam, etc., that you want. Well, why is that not starting? That's where it goes. Do I need to undo undo that bottom one and do the top one first? Perhaps. I'll loosen it. Definitely bolts in with it. Yep, let's start it. CI foams are good dual stage foams. Dual stage foams of any brand can be good. It's not it's not something you have to have. I've got I can't this no this truck doesn't because my button. None of my trucks have got dual stage foams. Oh, sorry, I had to remember. That, that takes a bit of brain power. <laughs> Dropped it. Dropped it. Yeah, it all, I don't know. It, <clears throat> it all sort of depends on how much you want to try and tune your truck, I guess. <clears throat> for every day, for every day wheeling, it's not, it's not a necessity to, to have dual stage. <clears throat> Generally speaking, you can get a, a weight that's good for your truck, and that's that's all you need. You, you sort of conquer most of the terrains, or that sort of thing. With um, you conquer most of your terrains with one style of foam. You don't you don't have to go out and spend a fortune. Right, I'm going to pop that drive shaft on while I'm under here. Still a lot of bolts in there. Uh, right, line up my drive shaft. So that's straight. So how does this stream compare to the first one? For those that watched both, if you could let me know, that'd be excellent. Can I turn that with my finger? I can. Awesome. 
I would like to assume it's heaps better. Up on their drive shaft. Turn that way. Lovely. Uh, that one. Back in there. Wicked. I'm winning, people. I say, Bryce, it gives you the thumbs up. The big thumbs up. There's going to be times where I'll just read the name that's on the screen because it's the quickest and easiest way. Unless your username is like 15,000 letters long. As to which I'll say, do it's a favour, mate, crud, and your username will come back. No. <laughs> right. Winning. Lovely. Smooth. Awesome. That's bloody good to hear. That makes me very happy. Right, put that pin in, which is there. And I can flip the truck back up and look at what needs bolts in it. I can take my photo before I go and put everything else back in. That didn't go where it needs to go. There. Lovely. Awesome. T-Rex tire. The T-Rex for standard tires are okay. Their foams are trash. They disintegrate really easily. Too easily. Right. Time for me motor. Time for me falter, then me motor. Then I'll do a falter of me motor. No. I've got dirt everywhere already. Gotta be nice and clean for photos. We don't get all this effort to take crappy photos. <clears throat> now I'm going to sit my, my motor in there. Come on, stay up there. Just to give everyone a name and idea of the actual setup we're running with here. Awesome. Like that. Uh, I have the flat irons. I used to have flat irons. So flat irons are pretty good tyres. Flat irons are pretty good. Right. Now, before we pop that in, positive is the top side. It's nice to know. Right. Pop that in there, pop that in there. Slide that there. That should hold everything wickedly. Should. And, yep. Awesome. Coming to get them out. Yes, it's surprising the difference good foams make. Surprising the difference. Right. I'm winning now. Thank God. I mean, it's worth it. So just even just looking at it now, it's like, I'm glad I did this. Glad I did it. Uh, that one in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely. All right. What's next? Big process, this. Right, I'm going to pop that third thing back in its mount. And whack that big long bolt all the way through. Yeah, so you can go over there for now. Plug 
please sit where you're supposed to sit. Top link. Should call you Mr. Bling. Well, because I like nice stuffs. It's I don't know. I think it's just there's some trucks I just like buying parts for. I know, I know that sounds dumb, but like this truck has a lot of parts on. Some of them have made a, a an epic difference to how it drives, how how it feels to drive. This is nothing but a pain in the ass. Come on, get in there. But yeah, sometimes it's just it's nice to nice to have nice parts to look at on your trucks. My God, go in there. Ugh. Heave! Why won't you cooperate? Wants me to swear, that's why. I will win. Uh, can you show your spare tire cover? I can. Up there is a year racing spare tire cover. There is a axial rim, plastic rim, with a trepidor tire. I believe it is sitting on there on the spare there. So that's what we've got there. Try this this way. Actually, I'm. I'm going to undo that. Drop this lower link out of my way. Johnny lost his chair X4. You know, kid. You know? You there? I have one of the discontinued ones. I believe they made a few designs and then stopped, stopped doing those and then made a few more designs and such and so on. Look, that just dropped straight in now. Beep. We could. Makes all the difference. The warning, do not follow me one. What's mine? Okay. I think I've got that one somewhere. I think I do. I can't remember where, which is pretty bad, but I'm <laughs> pretty sure I've got it. <laughs> right, now put my lower link back on. That appears to have been the easiest way of doing that. Drop your lower link, put your, put your third top link on, and then put your lower link back in. Right. Where am I now then? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, battery tray, I believe, is next. Swing your coffees first. We'll have yet to see another one in any. There's 3,000 photos on my Instagram. You are welcome to scroll through them all. I'm pretty sure I've got one somewhere, or I had one. I think it was on my old um, red Dodge cab truck. And I had a tray on it that I built. It was my red cat um, crawler that I converted into a well, a sort of crawler like this. Right. Yes. Come on. Get over. Take it easy, mate. No worries, mate. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. You like? Slid it back there. Come on, AC, cooperate. Don't be shy. Right, lovely. Leave that with those. Yoink, yoink. Uh, yoink. What was it that? Wasn't that one? Where did you go? 
yeah, I've yeah, I had I have one. I'm sure I did. Now that you like now you bring it up, I'm sure it was on that red that red truck. Actual actually shared that truck on their page because I thought it was an SX10. Cool buggers. Yeah, she was an old red cap rock slide. Um, just how I'd done it. I built a camper for it. Um, yeah, built a camper for it. Had a flat tray for it at one stage. It was just a fun truck to fun truck to modify. And actually shared it. And thought it was an SX10. Also gotta remember <clears throat> where all these bloody wires go. Uh get that dirt off there. We've come this far. Now I believe on that transmission it used two different bolts. Yes it did. So does that have two Yes, it does. So I need to pinch two bolts out of here. Because two on the factory transmission are different to the replacement casing. So I need to pinch two for my battery tray. They can just live in there. <coughs> right. Uh, that's the positive. I'll plug that straight into the negative. I'll plug that straight into there. I'll pop those wires down into that holder. Wicked. That will be stuck to the dealy. That is for my battery, obviously. That needs to go across underneath there. Now I should be able to put my battery tray on. No. Let me think this through. Battery tray goes through there. Yes. And then I need to I think I can do that. I'll do that before I do the battery tray up. Talking to myself, I know. Sorry, that's I need an expert's opinion. <clears throat> I just I need to put my my cable here in this dealy, which slides slide that forwards. That goes. Where was that? That was in there, wasn't it? Or was it just looped through here? <coughs> Excuse me. Must have just been through there like that. Yep, which is fine. Okie doke. Oh, let's pop that out. Stay in there. Awesome. Right, I'll do those up before. I'll put the next piece in. Game of Thrones on now. Don't tell me what happens. We had this conversation last time, Tony. I believe we did. Oh, let me just stab my thumb. Right, so after I put this battery tray back in, I think we're finished as far as the motor and all that goes. I think these bolts are long enough. You're at an hour and a half already. Jesus. Keep in mind, this stuff does take a lot longer when you're answering people's questions and trying to work on your truck at the same time. I've definitely learned that that is a thing. Uh, yep, yep, we're sweet. We are sweet. So up next... And that'll be the last thing for the day is installing the side steps, which I'm excited about. And they should be easy. This would be easy if I could line up that piece. <clears throat> so I know a lot of people weren't sure on this whole YouTube thing, but what do you think now? Now that it's, I'm sort of starting to get the hang of making it run better, which I know is the most important thing. Um, I mean, there's going to be better bits as we go. Do please start. Did you start? No, you didn't. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, that's a pain in the ass of a thing, that is. Uh, things take time, do it right the first time. Exactly, especially when, like, like, so that transmission, I've never pulled that, those apart before. My God, this is a frustrating piece of plastic to put back on a truck. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you haven't done it before, well, you've got to sort of, you've got to take a bit of time to make sure that um, you don't cock it up. Because I don't want to put the whole thing together and then put a battery in it and it fizzles out on me. I'm sure it'll be, you know, make for great viewing, but it's not something I want to do. Are you starting this time? Thank you. All righty. <laughs> All that for a bloody wire holder that doesn't even have wire. Right. Okay, dog. So that's got to go there. That's got to go there out of the way. Yep. That's going to sit down there. That way it won't go everywhere. Then I should be able to move this battery tray a bit. Oh, that's tight. That shouldn't be that tight there. Yeah. Here we are. Open this up. Ouch. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Love it. My God. What a pain in the ass. It's cool though. We got it where it needs to be. It's a good thing this um, gearbox case disperses heat better too because I can't see much of it now. No, it's nice to have nice things in the truck. Right, they're going there. And then we put two more bolts in, two more bolts in the back of here. And then I think, I think this, this part of the mission's done. Come on. Start. Just crap in the, in the through hole there. Right. Better start, or I'll start dropping bombs. Start it. Start it. Awesome. Start the other side before I tighten that one up. Keep looking at that. I should be looking at the camera. My bad. I apologise. Once I once I do the whole webcam thing, I will I'll set it all up properly so I can possibly look at the camera there. Maybe have a camera there, camera here. Just go nuts. I'll make it like a really fancy web show. I've got big goals. A little budget. <laughs> it's usually how it goes, isn't it? Big goals with a little budget. Right. You're going to run a video of that truck compared to the uh, competitive motor control. Well, I've, I've got 100,000 hours of footage of this truck with the factory motor. Um, so, yeah, I can do it. Essentially, I'll just go out and film this truck with this new motor. Um, I mean, I can't do a, oh, here's what it's like in first gear, here's what it's like in second gear, unless I film this, change the motor over again, and then film it again, do you know what I mean? But I, I've got old footage. Um, I mean, I, I know it's going to be brilliant because I've already run these motors in my you know, the Demons, and they're just they're awesome. I think that's it. Stick my BUC back on there. Wiki. So if I'm correcto, if I am, I should be able to plug a battery in and test it. 
this is the radio I use for my TRX4. It's a little excessive, but it's a little dusty too. But it is uh, an extremely nice radio to drive a truck like this on. Uh, system. Yes. Model select. TRX4. Back. Oh. Uh, this one should do. Right, drop the Lyco in. I believe this one fits just. Wicked. Did I turn that on? It's plugged in. Why are you not turning on? Dun dun dun. I didn't unplug anything electrical. That's it. Okay. Is that the first gear or second gear? That might be. I've got to be careful. One of these buttons is cruise control, and if I flick it, the truck's going to take off forwards. And I always forget that's gear. Right now I know which one it is. Okay, so that's second gear. That's still plenty quick enough. God damn that's smooth. Uh, JP Slave Racing, I like the front bumper. So do I, <laughs> if I'm honest. That's a Year Racing, God, this truck's heavy. Uh, year Racing TRX4 bumper with a Year Racing winch that is a wireless controlled winch, and it's a pretty epic setup. It's really nice. Um, and I've also got the rear Year Racing rear bumper too, metal bumper, uh, tow ball, spare tyre, the whole deal. Really quite nice. They, they, they make some nice... Nice TRX 4 gear, yeah, racing. So I'm pretty happy with me. Actually, let me. Uh, what channel is that? Elevator? Lovely, right. Uh, I just want to make sure I haven't got my elevator set to. I should have cranked that. I don't know how loud that sounds to you. Phone microphones tend to increase the sound. Um, we've got the high pitchy sort of stuff, but I mean that's that's normal motor sound to me. That's a nice, smooth control motor. You, you, you can't argue with that. But, you liked, just saw you on Facebook, thought you were on in an hour. We've been on for, must be nearly two hours now. Uh, Brandon's heading off. Thank you for stopping by, Brandon. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you again for the donation. Epic. Um, really do appreciate it. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Um, all we've got left to do in today's uh, stream is install the side steps, which is good. I mean, it's good that this works. It's nice that you can change things over. Everything's perfect. It's just stupid slow, which is awesome. That's that's perfect. In a truck like this, that's let me see if I can just uh, let me see if I can 
move that. Move these. Move that. Give yourself enough room to see if I can hit flat out from one side of this desk to the other. Now, a lot of you guys will probably go, oh, that's too slow. Two-speed truck, don't forget. So you want low gear to do the extra slow creepy stuff. Don't run over knives, kids. So that's flat out in first gear. Actually, no, it's not. That's 80%. Okay. <clears throat> that's flat out in first gear. Apparently my trim is off. Uh, are you on? Sub trim. Awesome. That is actually really awesome because now I'm, I'm looking forward to driving my truck again. Now, if you're wondering why this has done this, it's because my servo is powered directly through the battery. So when you turn the truck off, the you lose all signal to the servo and it's likely to just go and do what it wants to do. Uh, Tony, sorry, gents, my phone is dying. Charge it, Tony. Put it in the charger. It's all right, mate. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'm just quickly going to install these bad boys, and then we're going to call it a day. I quite like that. Yeah. Wicked. Wicked, wicked. And doing these sorts of things, like installing one of those air racing motors, you instantly look forward to driving your truck. They're only $20. I'm going to have to order more of them again, I think. Because originally I wasn't going to put one on this truck. Whoops. Uh, right. Just bagged and bagged and bagged and bagged. Appears to be that way. Which is good. Extra protection. Okay, so we have those there. Wicked. And then we have, we have our runners. It's a box. Right, well, I can start by taking the factory ones off, I suppose. Uh, two millimeter. Whip these bad boys off. I'll show you what we're going from and what we're going to. Uh, Lawrence, we'll watch you later, mate. No worries, buddy. Thank you for stopping by. Very much appreciated. From what I can gather, the quality of this stream as far as sync and video and all that audio should be pretty good so it shouldn't be too bad to sit down and watch later on that's what i'm hoping for really hoping for right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i guess i can just use that bolt straight in there that bolt straight in there yep we can just use the factory bolts where needed. Right. Factory runs off. And uh, now I need to bolt these bad boys on. So give me these small bolts. So with this kit you get some long bolts and some short bolts. The long bolts bolt the side step on the short bolts bolt the legs to the side step there's one bolt i believe yes and they're adjustable height nice now i don't know what height they need to be i'm sure i'll figure it out right so yeah 
So how many people have we still got with us? Does it go that way? No, it doesn't go that way. It can't go that way. It's got to go that way. And that's got to go that way. Right. Start the next one. Uh, that's got to go that way. Also. Thank you, Doug. Let's go that in a second. In the second, I'll see how this compares. <laughs> no, that's in the third. This will make sense if you buy some of these. There's four or five different mounting options as far as how high your side runners mount. I'm going to mount it in the second one. Hopefully that's about the same as factory because I want the body to sit how it does factory. That might be, might be okay. Or oh, it might be way too low. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's beeping nice. Yeah, that's too low. I'll come up one. Sorry if this is boring, guys. Let me know if it is. I don't know how many people we still got with us. Do you, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, give the uh, give the stream a like. I'm gonna go up. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Dave, how much weight do you think you've added to that truck with all the upgrades? A lot. Um, I'd have to go, I'd, I'd honestly have to go through the Samex website and add up all the weights because I've got every Samex option on here, all the brass options. I've got brass pivot balls, brass inner and outer portal covers. Brass shock mounts, brass spring, uh, brass spring retainers, um, C hubs. There's just brass everywhere. A lot. There's a lot. I mean, which is good. It's it's made this truck gone from you know feeling like a normal TRX4 to feeling like a really expensive truck. Which you spend this much money on a truck, I guess that's sort of how you want it to feel. You, know, you want it to be a reflection of how much you've spent on it. I see racers still here. I appreciate you guys sticking it out. Very much appreciate it. I really quite like these side steps. The best thing is I can adjust them after they're bolted on. I think. Well, I should be able to. I could with a normal um, normal Allen key. I have to look and suss it out if I can with, a, with one of these. But I'm not that phased for the moment. My back's starting to get to me. It's getting close to relaxed back time. So I'll just get these bolted to the truck and then that'll do for today. I like that. So there's, there's the difference. That's... Get this out of the way. So we've got a new one and an old plastic one. Is it less than 15 pounds total? Um, uh, probably. I I think I've added at least a pound and a half of brass. The truck weighs, uh, I think, eight pounds or something. Um, oh. Factory, something like that. I need a new back. I haven't even talked to Trill and they can make me one. Nappy nice. But it's it's a well 
it's a well weighted truck, Dave, and it it it's a it reflects that when you drive it. It's well balanced. I'm yet to get rear inner portal covers. Yeah, rear inner portal covers and brass. Oh, I've got the brass front and rear bumper mounts too. Um, I think there's a couple more options. Um, sandwiches look at the pumping out for this truck. So I'll get those. And then it'll probably be, well, you know, that's it for putting stuff on this truck because I'm just going silly now. I mean, it is a nice truck, but I could be spending my money on worse things. It off. Uh, get rid of that. Attach these bad boys. So, is anyone working on their RC while I'm working on my RC? Well, well thought out, these nice little locking system. Easy to do. Can't stuff it up. If I can do it. Right. Now we're going to do bolt it to the truck and we're done. And then we put the body on and hopefully the body sits perfectly where it needs to. Hopefully. I really hope. <laughs> Should have saved me having to Modify it later. The wiring could do a little bit of tidying up, but that's sure as hell not happening right now. Right. Winning. I'm looking forward to my next kit build, whatever that's going to be, because I'm thinking I'll build it on the string. Full kit build on the string, start, finish, which I think would be good fun. I don't know how I could make it work with painting. Perhaps I could set up a, a USB camera, uh, a, not a USB, a wireless camera, and I could, you know, okay, I'm gonna go outside now, and paint the truck. Let's go and take you outside, and paint the truck. Always tinkering on stuff, I am. Yeah. MXX Pros join us at the worst possible time. We're not too far from actually finishing the stream, unfortunately. And I apologise for that. This happens whether I stream on Facebook or YouTube. Oh. Right, get a load of those side steps. They are awesome. That looks, that looks better than I thought it was going to. I can do it, it's good. I'm gonna get that. I've got to sort my wiring out so my wires don't hang down. There, that's how it's supposed to look. Like that. That's quite nice. I like those. So, the Tower X4 today has got some love. It's got new side steps. New side steps, new. Transmission case, new motor, new motor mount. It's all trill stuff. So if you're wondering where the stuff come from, if you rewatch today's uh, stream, trill. You can find them on eBay. You can find them on Amazon. Do I recommend you have a look at their stuff? Yes, I do, because it's really quite nice. They make they make parts for the Gen 8, the SCX10, the SCX10 2, the Wraith. The TRX4, and I'm sure there's others that I can't think of right now, but they make they make a substantial amount of parts for a substantial amount of vehicles. And the more stuff I install of theirs, oh my back, the more stuff I install of theirs, they also make kick-ass wheels too. Um, the more I'm impressed by them, so which is good. That means I found another brand that I can put a bit of trust into. Clean up my shite. Um, 
another brand that I can put a bit of trust into and say to you guys, yep, go and buy that stuff because, I mean, you've just seen me install um, that gearbox apart from my one little cock-up, which was pretty stupid. <laughs> I'll admit it. Um, apart from my one little mistake, it, it all went together really easily. The bearings popped in where they had to. Everything fit really nicely. There was no, you know, no need to swear and carry on, which is good. That's that's how RC parts should be. Yeah, tie up that wire in there. So, yes, this, this truck needs another drive outside now. Full thing's been sitting for too long. So that's what one of my next YouTube videos will be. I have to get the Gen 8 back out. Um, test that out after the last stream and what we did. And now I need to get this back out and test it. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for stopping by and watching. Um, thank you for the donations. It's it's epic. I really do appreciate it. Um, that sort of stuff's going to help us make these streams bigger, better, prizes and all that sort of thing. So if you do feel like donating, there's a link in the description. You can follow that. Um, yeah. Join Burden's Custom RC Builds Group on Facebook. If you want to join in the fun, there'll be photos of this this whole setup. Um, we've got over 2,000 members of some of the best people in RC, and I really think anyone anyone with the right attitude will fit in really well and have just as much fun as we do there now. So look it up, join, have some fun with us with RC, and we shall see you guys on the next stream. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Now that I click this end stream button.